Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough, and today we're going to talk about how you can become an expert. Mm -hmm, an expert. Stay tuned and I'll give you some steps. So we've talked a lot about branding right now. We've talked about what people see in you and we've talked about the skills that you're bringing with you. But now what are you going to talk about? What is it that you're an expert in? Whether you have a career and a job or whether you are starting a business or whether you even want to become a speaker, what is your expertise in? So I'm going to give you some steps today on how I actually created four areas of expertise for me because I've been, I spoke on the generations, I speak on change, I speak on branding and a lot on energy and stress. So I've created these niches and I'm going to tell you how I did it. The first thing you've got to do is decide. That's a big decision. Like, where do you want to invest the next amount of time that you've got into? Because time is precious. Time is our currency. So you've got to make a decision where you want to put that energy. And that could take a while. So maybe think about where you want to put it by your experiences, um, maybe about the people that you've been around. When I spoke on the generations and I began to do this, I have seven nieces and nephews who are all a little younger than me. They're almost like my siblings. And I hung around with them and I felt like right off the bat, I was an expert on younger people. And then I had a clothing store where I hired high school kids all the time. So I took that experience with me when I decided to become a speaker on the generations. The next thing you have to do is you have to gain knowledge. Boy, do I gain knowledge. I used to say, read 10 books and you'll become an expert. Now I say read 10 books, watch 10 videos, listen to 10 blogs, get 10 TED Talks in. You've got to keep it going. You've got to continually be a sponge and you've got to enjoy learning, which brings me to 10,000 hours. I don't know if you read the book, The Outliers, but in the book, Malcolm Gladwell talks about in order to become famous, in order to become great, you have to put in at least 10,000 hours. I agree. But I don't want to tell people that that's like the dirty little secret, because when you tell people you're going to have to put 10,000 hours into something, they go, mm, I'm going the other way. But you have to put in the time and it takes work. It takes work. So pick something that you enjoy. Pick something that when you're reading about it, when you're listening to it, you're excited about it and you don't want to quit. Pick something that keeps you up late at night or gets you up early in the morning so that you can focus and learn and read. Because you know what? It takes practice. It takes practice. It takes you practicing that muscle, that muscle of wanting to learn, that muscle of beginning to talk about it, speak about it, and tell people that you're an expert. In the beginning, you'll be scared because it takes courage. In the beginning, you go, who am I to be an expert? But you know what I have found? I have found that with practice and with taking your time and with owning it, you too can become an expert. So I don't know what it is that you want to talk about right now. I am back speaking on branding. I'm speaking on change. I'm speaking on not getting stressed out over this pandemic. And you know what? It's enjoyable. Keep learning, keep growing, and become an expert. Hey, guys, it's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.